Hey there, Ranger Nation. Welcome to the webcast with Attitude, LR4. And this is episode 128, Cruise Control. And I'm your host, Nate. And we've got a lot of topics to cover this uh, week. But before we get into that, I want to introduce you to my co-host. First, I got to click him over here. Do this. We got James. Hey, what's up, guys? I still don't understand why you have to wear the shades. Oh, I said 128, episode 128. And I don't know, Nate. Why do you got to be an asshole sometimes? I like these glasses. <laughs> okay, and all right, and let's see. Here we go. Wait, did Rick already unmute himself? Yeah. And we got Rick. All right. <laughs> all right. We got Derek. Gonna talk shit about my glasses too, you bastard. <laughs> nah, I give up trying to talk shit about you. Uh, I mean, Amanda? you could be talking shit about my glasses, but you know they're prescription, so. Nate's just jealous. He's the only one not wearing glasses. Amanda, what are you doing? Why are you balancing something on your nose? I am trying to talk to you. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Do you have a microphone? Can you speak? You had her muted. I unmuted her. Amanda. Where do babies come from? Okay, we're not talking about <laughs> you that. You see when the man loves a woman. They have these things like sockets. You know, they're kind of like sockets. Well, we're not Wait, really having no, a discussion on LR4. No, we're not doing Amanda that. Amanda watches Impractical Joker. She got the reference. Uh-huh. Okay. So, anyway. Um, no, how is, how's that, everybody that doing? That said for when a man loves a woman. Yeah. Hold on. So, how sockets. is everybody during this quarantine? Uh, let me go to James. James, how are you doing, man? What's By the way, the James got a new look. What's this quarantine thing? I mean, I work retail, so we're still open. Well, anyway, how's everything going with you? Uh, fine so far, you know. For the most part, as much as I'm joking, it has been pretty boring because... It hasn't been as busy at work, so it's, it's a lot of just you being like, oh, God, this day is going longer. So it has been a lot boring. But then again, hey, I got Animal Crossing, so I've been playing a lot of that with friends. And I've been binge-watching a lot of TV shows from The Office to King of the Hill to you name it. Okay. Rick, what about you? How you been doing? Well, I mean, it kind of worked out because I had a vacation already planned for now. But... I mean, at the same time, I do go back to work tomorrow because I work at a warehouse, for essentials, so it may oh. keep playing with the camera settings. Because well, I'm trying to get, get a good shot of you with your hair. Oh, well, with you're the, not going with to. The hair, too with the hairspray. The yeah. The webcam okay. is like three arm lengths from me, so you're not going to get a good shot of it. Ah. Okay. So anyway, yeah. uh, Derek, how about you, man? How are you doing? I have also been on vacation this week, and I watched so many movies and played so many video games. It was kind of glorious. <laughs> but like Rick, I go back to work tomorrow, and that sucks. But at least I'll be working from home. And Amanda, what about you? Hi. is making a lot of money with their online services right now. Amanda, how about you? How are you doing? I don't know what you're beating uh, with a freaking Red Ranger uh, pen right now, but how are you doing? Anyway. Apparently she's making food. Apparently I'm sharpening pencils to pass the time. Because oh, no. uh, yesterday, yeah. yesterday Rhode Island was issued a lockdown for the next 14 days. So I will be in this house until April 13th. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. after... I got As for me, pencils, um, I'm going to just sharpen them until they get to the pretty point, and I'll figure out what to do next. Um, as of right now, I'm only working three days. Uh, uh, and then I work three days next week, and then I got to take a, a lot of us have to take a uh, take a, because of uh Please tell me you're not trying to sharpen that pen. Okay, This is a pencil. pencil. Well, you had the pen in your hand. I thought, I, mean, I see you sticking something in there. Hi, Dougie. But, um, yeah, so 
they got to have to cut uh, like 10% um, of my pay because, you know, I don't want to go bankrupt. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. But at least I have plenty of money in my savings for the trip. So that's good. Um, oh, well. Oh, uh, positive. I got my taxes back. Your what? Cool. You want to split it between tax? us? 100, 100, 100, 100, 100? I'm not going to give hey, any hey. dollar amounts over YouTube. <laughs> How can you do that? You heard of PayPal, right? We are on the age-restricted stuff, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Because apparently Pornhub is offering their premium service for free during the quarantine. Well, now we don't I don't know why there. we're at that point yet. I'm just waiting for Netflix and the other streaming hey. services to say, hey, hey we're hey. offering our services for free. Uh, the only that's streaming service I, I know that has done that besides Pornhub is WWE. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get back to what we're yeah, actually but, talking about. Uh, I'm waiting for the streaming services to turn around and say, we're offering our content for free. Oh, and by the way, here's every region. That's when I'll start taking this quarantine seriously. Okay, so anyway, yeah, they really can't give you every region because it's legally different stuff with streaming rights for stuff for international and domestic. Yeah, well, I figured since I work in a warehouse, we're not actually going to shut down for any reason. You know. anyway, if, it, if anybody wants to talk, go ahead and talk in the uh, live chat. We've got the live chat up. We'll you know, answer questions or. You know, you can just chat with us while we're doing this, as usual. So anyway. uh, I might say as well fifth because I might as well say this. Um, this year, I'm skipping my birthday. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Silence. I don't really have much of a choice but to skip my birthday because everything's going to be closed. See, my birthday is at the end of August, so hopefully my birthday will be spared. If your birthday no, is I think, not fair, I think, I think that somebody's going to kill you now. Amanda's like, oh, no. all right. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to our topics. I already did the introducing the co-host. You know how I do. We got uh, some. Uh, oh, look at this, Geo Scout here. Hey, Geo Scout, how you doing? And Nate again. Oh God. Hi. Hey, hey uh, Nate. Funny. I think you need to clarify the Geo Scout that you do not hate them. Uh, I never said that. Anyway, so we're going to move on to our topic. Uh, we got some guest uh, announcements to talk about. Um, not the ones from this week. We're going to be saving about that for the next episode. But, you know, what they've been announcing and everything. And why are you pointing to your freaking legs there, James? Because I can't find my phone and it's vibrating. Okay. Oh, there it is. Are you random? Okay, are we Back to randomly shipping. No, we're not. We're not starting that. No. Anyway. Hashtag so. Team Neric will never die. No. It is no. immortal. If it entertains you, i got two Red Rangers here. Anyway, let's get on to the topic. Uh, PMC 2020, we've got uh, Campbell uh, Cooley. He has done many voices for Power Rangers over the past years. Uh, he did the voice for Alpha 6. In uh, Once a Ranger, Always a Ranger. And he also has done that. He does the voice for a previous villain, the most current villain right now, uh, Scrazzle in Beast Morphers Season 1 and 2. And also, he has also done uh, the voice for Snide and uh, Malcor. I can't remember how to pronounce his, last, his name. He's from Super Mega Force. Malcor. Malcor, thank you. And then we got, he also played the voice of Ripcon. So he will be there all six days uh, in September, on September 4th. And all 6th. six days? All three days, I meant. It's been a long week. I was going to say, this is going to be the best convention ever. Yeah. Anyway, six so, so oh, he's yeah. going to be there. Although my job won't like, like that. You didn't roll your wallet. Okay. Uh, so, anyway. I want to be broke day one. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, anyway, we got that guest announcement. And now uh, we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, Hillary Shepard, she's going to be there. She's only going to be there one day. Uh, she's going to be there on the 5th of September. So uh, she'll be there that Saturday. 
you guys, if you want to meet uh, Hillary Shepard and want to get a chance to get a picture with Diva Talks herself or an autograph, uh, definitely don't miss her out. Don't miss out on her being there on the 5th of September. So that's kind of, I mean, plus that she's not going to be there the whole weekend, but she might have other things going on. But yeah, just make sure you guys stop by and say hi to her. She's really nice. And uh, we also have, uh, if you guys want to chill with uh, Andros himself or as we like to call him, his real name, Christopher Cayman Lee. He's going to be awesome there Awesome guy to drink at it more for Con. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> yeah. He's he going to be there the best people all out three with. days. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him again, you know. Uh, definitely stop by his table, you know, chill, hang out with him. He's a cool guy. Um, share some stories with him. He'll share stories with you. Yeah. Anyway. So, yep, he'll be there as well all three days. And then we've got uh, Rojito Vargas Jr. Uh, uh, Blake, the uh, Navy Thunder Ranger. He's going to be there all three days. I've met him before. He's a really nice guy. I met him and uh, Adam at uh, GMC 2018. Um, looking forward to seeing him again. He'll be there all three days. Guys, definitely stop by, say hi to him, you know, chat and all that stuff. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a good time. And also, Monica May. Among other uh, things. Dean Delgado, the uh, yellow SPD Ranger from uh, the B Squad. And she's going to be there all three days as well. Definitely stop by, get a picture with her, chat with her. She's really a sweet person. Among other things. Yeah, uh, let's just um, yeah, let's move on to the next one, okay? And we've got Steve Cardenas. He's going to be there all three days as well, all three days as well. And if you guys want to, you know, stop by his table, say hi, and, you know, do all that good stuff. So, yeah, he'll be there as well. So, guys, definitely don't miss your chance out on uh, meeting him. Now I'm going to go down the list here and ask you guys uh, everything we've announced so far for PMC 2020. Let me go to, I'm going to go back to my, here we go. All right, James, what do you think, man? Uh, uh, this, uh, Jeff, looks really announced. promising. Like I said, a lot of those people we, we have seen before at Morphicons and I met them before and they're really nice. So if you're somebody who hasn't been to Morphicon before, don't be shy to say hello because these are some really awesome people. Like I said, Christopher came and Lee made a childhood dream come true that I didn't know that I had, which is getting drunk at my all-time favorite Power Ranger, because that was a blast, my first Morphicon, when I was drinking in the bar right next to him. Oh, I just can't wait to get to Derek after this one. Uh, Rick, what about you, man? What do you think of what they, who they are now? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, let's see. Uh, Power Morphicon is uh, September fourth through the yeah September fourth through the sixth um, at the Pasadena Convention Center. So if you want any more information on what's everything you need to know, just go to uh, the official and you can find out more uh, information there. Uh, now let me go to Derek. Derek, what do you think of this lineup? What we got? Who we just announced? Uh, my. We just got hit by a thunderstorm, and my dog freaked the fuck out, so I missed the entire thing. So okay, well we that's probably great. But yeah, let me show you the list again, all right? So yep, yeah, there's that. Cool. There's 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 her. Also good. Yep. Nice. Now, do you have any stories here, Derek, about Christopher Kim and Lee? Uh, I know Christopher Kim and Lee said that. Uh, he had to hug me because that's what uh, that's what Ranger Bros do. So when I stopped by his uh, his booth, big hug, lots of pictures, handshake, cool conversation. He is a really fun dude. And also Bailey's here. And is, here. is your dog wearing a shirt? Yes, the fun yeah. freaks her out. So I, I got a funny story. Con. That first Morphicon, when I after you know that last night where I met him in the bar and we had a few drinks. Assuming two years later it was a bar, he wouldn't remember me. He sees me walking by at the last Morphicon. He goes, "Hey, I know you." <laughs> Pointing right at. I muted you, Amanda, because you wouldn't stop with a noisemaker. Put it. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's gone for a bit. Once you put it down. All right. All right. Anyway. You see how he treats us? Would hey, you, we got a comment. You know, would, okay. When you're standing here doing this when somebody's trying to talk, don't annoy anybody. Put it down. Okay. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, guys. Those are the guys. I mean, I'm just looking, images in a computer screen. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to meeting all the guests there. Uh, we have we will have more guest announcements. Um, not only for Ranger, not only for PMC 2020, but Ranger Stop and Pop as well. So we'll have some more news on that next uh, next week's episode. So keep an eye out for that. Uh. So anyway. Oh, look who it is. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me read the censored version because the last one, Nate's got not going to want to know it's seen. Hashtag James Club. Hashtag Team Amanda. Hashtag Derek's Navy. Hashtag Rick Army. Hashtag Nate Nation. Hashtag Retracted. Rich, wait. Narek Lips. Narek Lips. Retractive? What retracted. You like, it's retracted. I took it away, so it was censored, Nate. It's well, kind of hard to say that one right there. You got to read it anyways. Yeah, anyway. AKA James is hot. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, we got. Um, I'm looking forward to PMC 2020. Uh, Who else is looking forward to it? Raise your hand. Derek, are you looking forward to it? PMC 2020? Oh, yes. I'm gonna have my first, I'm gonna have my first screwdriver. I'm looking forward to yeah, that. You are. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, Rarick is Derek and Rarick. Hi, Rarick. How you doing? Uh, it's like freaking Scooby Rarick. Hi, Rarick. <laughs> nice entry. Geo did nothing wrong. Oh Jesus Christ. Derek's on too. Rock on. Yeah, okay. Let's okay. You're going for a guy that's gonna be getting married this year. And the guy who's currently seeing the girl. I'm yeah. just happy. I'll take the damn compliment. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll take the compliment. I'm happy. It's my blue eyes. You know, I got the sunglasses Derek's on. It's the blue eyes that does it every time. Say, as long as you believe he's hot, and she's gonna turn around, probably turn say, I knew I made a good choice. As long as people leave me alone, I don't mind. So, <laughs> Nate, oh, Nate's just upset Nate that. Nate's Ranger uh, say Amanda's pretty. Hurry. Say it. Say it. What? I didn't yeah. hear that part. What did he say? He said somebody type Amanda's pretty. Yeah. No. No. Someone's just, just type in hashtag Amanda's depressed right now. Anyway, so we're going to move on to the next topic, guys, uh, which is Hasbro's Power Rangers Live. And this news comes from uh, um, the Luminarity. Let me get back to it. There we go. There we go. Illuminati! So yeah. Um, the Illuminati, but not yeah. secret. Can someone this explain to me what this is? I will. I'm just if I can get to it. Let me pull it up. I can go to my phone. I'm gonna go to my saved information. Here we go. So. Anyway, this is going to be um, during the Neo Saban era. It's the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. Yeah. Okay, hold on a sec. We love hashtag Team Amanda. So you mm -hmm. don't pick on her. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So Thank originally, Hasbro was going to be doing a, um, you know, whole live show. No, not Hasbro. So Neo uh, Saban brands was going to do a whole live um show kind of like what they did with mighty morphin back then but you know they had to postpone it because uh they just couldn't do certain places i guess and um hasbro had the plan to do hey it sweet well. my sister's buying kfc that's great so anyway but this one is not going to be just pay attention to one team of rangers it's not going to be just based on one season of rangers it's going to be having multiple uh ranger characters 
for this uh, for their live Can show. Say one thing? Sure. Aren't drive-throughs awesome? <laughs> What? We can still have all of our restaurant food without even having to go into the restaurant. Sonic counts, I guess. And, you know, we can still do that. I just realized, yeah, I was talking about that the other day. Sonic's technically a drive through establishment. It's not really a dine-in establishment. Yeah. So technically you're not really breaking the mall with that one. But yeah. anyway, so here's uh, some of the uh, Ranger characters they're planning to have. Now they're not gonna. They're probably gonna be voiced by the actors. Man, uh, we got uh, the, the which will include the Red Mighty Morphin Ranger Jason. Is this oh, gonna be the original actors? What? Never mind. Uh, this is for the live show we're talking about. So and then uh, the. Not the, I mean, I think they're just going to voice the characters at the live show like they did in the Mighty Morphin live show. And uh, here's another one uh, Zoe, the yellow Beast Morphers Ranger, is one of the characters. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And no, no, also, no. put that back on, put that back on. I need that right now. <laughs> thank you. I am badass. Thank you. All right. So anyway, and then uh, the other character they're going to include uh, Coda from Dino Charge. That's one of the characters they'll include in the live show. Uh, Kendall from Dino Charge, the purple Dino Charge Ranger. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, those are the – so basically uh, right now – and they're also going to be including some new characters, which um, – let's see. Rangers that I've never seen before. No, they're going to be including new uh, cat characters. Uh, somebody named Ryder and Sky. So somebody named Ryder? Have... Yeah. Ryder and then and Sky. Sky, so that could just be SPD. No, it's actually going to be a different uh, Sky this time, a different character, okay. apparently. Hey, kid. Anyway, hey, Toy Ship also, is one of the Comrader suits. Okay, uh, Ryder and Sky. <laughs> so, they, and the villains they're going to have in this, this is pretty interesting, I think. Um, they're going to include Lord Zed, but he's going to be a different type of villain. They're going to have an actual name for him. He's still going to be known as Lord Zed, but he's also going to have an alter ego named uh, Zeller. And uh, they're looking for somebody. Well, let me go back to the. Uh, well, first off, let me go back to the whole um, what they're do looking for for casting and everything for the characters, the writer and Sky. Uh, they're looking for um, for Sky. They're looking for 18 to 28 years old, male who appears to uh, something uh, fit martial arts, rebel. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So if you want to read more information about this, yeah, I'll just go ahead and move on. You guys can go to Luminarity. Um, Luminarity. <laughs> dot com and everything. So anyway, yeah, the character for Lord Zed is the alter ego is called Zeller. They're looking for like somebody that's like in their twenty five and thir or thirty five years old, uh, old male who can sing and is five five. Point nine in uh, uh, height. So yeah, he's gonna be. And I can sing. So I think it's kind of funny how they're gonna I mean, have. Uh, I'm just a few inches taller than that, and I'm sure with a little bit of practice, I could pull off the singing. So yeah, they're gonna have him. They're gonna have Lord Zed, aka. Well, they're gonna call him Zeller, but he's also gonna be known as Lord Zed, and they're also gonna include. You rock, I got chicken. I'm talking to the commenter. Hey, thank you. Chicken thank nuggets. You. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Anyway. So, and also they're going to include Goldar, which his alter ego name is going to be Gordon. Interesting. That's, that's all I can say. Wait, wait, wait. Are they going to take on human identities and try to blend in? I, they try that with the Psycho Rangers. I guess that's going to be 
what they're doing with this, but I can just see it now. Goldar disguises himself as Lieutenant Gordon. So yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I don't dislike this idea. He's gonna be still. eventually Commissioner Gordon. Oh jeez. I mean, I don't dislike this idea. I mean, let me go to James. James, what do you think of the whole thing about Hasbro's Power Rangers Live? Of what about they have, this ideas live show? for and everything. Uh, I like it. It's nice to see that, yeah. that the last will of Saban, not saying he's dead, but like that was like one of the last things he wanted to have PR have back when he bought it. And now that it's in Hasbro's hands, it's like, oh, that's the final thing checked off the list that he, that after Disney sold it back. Uh I like the cast that they got going for it. Kind of powering. It's probably going to be like, like Dimensions of Dangers, but in a live show feel. That's, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Ryder and Sky, if Ryder does not actually transform into Kamen Rider, that, that's, that is false advertisement. No, I'm just joking here. Uh, What's Sky supposed to turn into a plane? I, I, I think it's more going to be a case. I think it's more going to be a case of like they're going to make the human friends that the Ranger meets. You know what I mean? Well, if they need to know martial arts, then. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, so, go ahead. So I like that. And uh, as for the villains, I think it's just a way to a you can save cost on the having the suit actors that are going to be like in these really probably high res you know versions of Zed and Goldar, and you can just have regular people who sing the songs. And then when it's time for the fight scene, oh the lights go out and now they're in their monster forms. I think that's what's going to happen. We're out uh, to the world. Yeah. Uh, Rip, what do you think? I think it's going to be fun. Also, I'm available to play Lord Zed. Um, I understand. I will need a little practice on the singing part, but I'm available. Uh, Amanda, what do you think of the whole live? What do you think of the whole live thing? What? I think it'd be pretty good for the kids of this generation if they don't cancel again. Yeah. Uh, Derek, what do you think of this whole live aspect of Hasbro doing a Power Rangers live show, tour show like they did with Mighty Morphin back in the day? Except they're going to have cool more idea. than just Power Rangers. Yeah, cool the idea? Fact, the fact that they're including other seasons and not just going with a Mighty Morphin like always, I think that can be kind of cool. They're surrounded by animals right now. Um, but the whole, I don't know, secret identity or whatever the hell of Zorda, uh, Zed didn't Goldar, Gordon. That seems weird to me. Oh. But, I mean, I like the aspect. I like that they actually, like Derek said and everybody, that they want to go with, you know, that instead of just paying attention to Mighty Morphin, they wanted to, because originally, I think, Neo Saban, it was going to be paying attention to Ninja Steel, Super Ninja Steel and everything, but now that, you know, they want to branch out, you're like, okay, we, we know there's more than just one season of Power Rangers. We want to just, you know, Include a lot of other rangers too. So until we get more news on that, guys, you can all, you can check it out on OR4. We'll be sharing it from wherever we can find this news. Uh, or if you want to look more into this, uh, Luminarity has it on their website. You can go and check that out. Now, uh, the next uh, topic. Now we talked about this last uh, season for LR4. They were trying to get something off the ground, but I'm going to go ahead and. Let me stop screen sharing, and I'm going to redo this again with the screen sharing because it is time. Oh, great. Now we have thunder here. I just heard the rumbling. Oh, well, we've had that yesterday. We had so that last know. night in Wisconsin, so haha. <laughs> if this rain can wash away Ooh. all the bacteria and virus things, I can take it. So, anyway, uh, the next topic. Let me just show you a little teaser here, a little setup for this uh, project that a certain ranger is working on with this certain production company. Everybody, you're going to have to mute yourself because I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this. There we go. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's turn off the AirPods. Okay. You guys can still hear me, right? Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, perfect. All right. 
So guys, here we go. Share the screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this little teaser here. Get the sound for it. Go back to it. Here we go. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Uh, as you remember from uh, last year, they were trying to get Legend of the White Dragon started. Uh, it's kind of, it's got that Power Rangers feel to it, but it's not connected to the Power Rangers universe. It's its own thing. And guys, originally they were asking for 500,000. They're only gonna, they're asking for 100,000. And this just started yesterday and guys, Look how many people have been backing already. I mean, this is amazing. 64,197 dollars with a total of 658 back, uh, backers for this project. And also they're still down to 58 days until they get this all funded. Guys, so that's I just shy of a thousand dollars per person. And I, I gotta tell you, guys, this is, amazing. this is amazing. This is amazing. And you know what? They just started. They just started doing this. They just started, uh, you know, to bring this back because you know a lot of people, as Jason A. Frank, as you saw that video, um, he, a lot of people have been asking, well, "Are you guys bring it back?" I and mean, you know, it would be a cool thing to see. So I wonder. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I wonder what happened with the other Ranger actor projects. I think the unit or something. Oh, they're talking about the order. Yeah. Um, well, I could tell you about that a little bit. It's they're in the process of working on it, but that's all I can say. If you want to know more information, you can always ask Karen Ashley. Go to her Facebook page, and I'm sure she can answer that question for you. But guys, I mean, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this because you see, you know, I shared on I shared it on LR4. Guys, if you go to our page on LR4. Click on uh, Jason A. Frank's page or go to Bat in the Sun. Share this link and get the word out. Because, guys, this is amazing. 
I mean, you know, if you want to know more about it, I've got some more information about it for you. You guys can go to the Kickstarter as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, uh, I wonder if I can just do this. Let's see if I can do this. Up sharing screen, share screen again. But guys, I'm just, I'm just blown away about the support that they have for this project. I just can't get over it. It's, it's amazing of what, you know, this could do. So anyway, here we go. So what is Legend of the White Dragon? I'm going to go to their uh, Kickstarter very quick. I can find it. Oh, wait, I got to go to Battle of the Sun. Here we go. I can read off uh, the storyline of Legends of the White Dragon. Okay. So what is Legends of the White Dragon? Okay. Uh, in the aftermath, uh, the city was left uh, dismayed, um, mentioned, or whatever that, that word is, uh, past a past reminder of a gr of the great battle and fall of heroes. The heroes were blamed, stripped of their titles, and hunted. But as evil once again threatens to return, they ri they must rise from the ashes with the power of the White Dragon. So that's a pretty interesting, you know, story. And uh, why crowdfunding? That's the next one. Uh, it's important that we deliver what the fans want and deserve, and Kickstarter allows us to do just that. This is uh, the way we remain 100% in control of the project, gives us uh, the freedom to create and create a Compline something story. You know, if you want to read more about this, guys, I mean, I'm terrible at pronunciation. And, you know, story, intense action sequence, spectacular visual effects without any story studio telling us no. We can't, we can't wait to deliver an awesome film experience. So there's that. And uh, if you guys want to know, like uh, J Jason himself, he was showing some of the perks you can get with this project. And I will go down to the price listing right here. Uh, one is this uh, awesome looking uh, poster design um who did all the boom uh power ranger comic covers uh, you guys can win a reward like this uh a awesome comic book animation cover of the white dragon that's one of the uh perks or uh war reward seven a uh, poster signed by the cast of course and uh if you guys want to know what the villain's going to be for this well, I mean, you can't have a villain. You can't have a hero without its villain. And this villain is called Dragon Prime, an evil version of the White Dragon. So I that's gonna, he's going to be played by Jason too. Probably, who knows? But I think that's pretty cool. He looks awesome. And let's see. And here's a look at some of the faces that are involved. Uh, as you see, that's a. Uh, Aaron from Bat in the Sun, and here's some of the other projects that uh, Jason A. Frank has worked with Bat in the Sun. He worked on um, Ninjak uh, versus the Valiant Universe, which is now um, the complete series is on YouTube right now, so you guys you should check that out. And he also did a lot uh, with Jason A. Frank for uh, Bat in the Sun for, uh, you know, the Power Rangers Legacy Wars, Street Fighter, um, little short film. And also all the uh, superpower beatdowns and all that stuff. So yeah, Bat and Sun will be involved in this pro. Will be heavily involved in this. This is a project that Jason and Frank and uh, Bat and the Sun came up with. So yeah. And now to the price point. Um, I'm gonna have to zoom in for you guys, okay? So for those of you guys that want to, okay, here's some of the rewards right here. Um, five dollars. You want to donate five dollars for war reward? name and credits, all that stuff. And if you want to do all these rewards right here, there's right there. So I'm just trying to show you as much as I can. And then we got, you know, there's a lot of good rewards here, guys. I, I believe there is, in my opinion. And here is the, uh, and apparently if you go, if you want to donate that much, you do get a uh, actual, uh, uh, the white dragon helmet signed from Jason A. Frank. And there's that one right there. So guys, there are there are ten rewards you can get if you 
and all and I think one of them actually has a, all of them or most of them anyway. So we yeah. Have a film with behind the scenes bloopers on the yeah. out, on the ten thousand dollar one. Do you want to read them off, or you just want to read certain? I'm ones? just looking at it, but yeah. Okay. And uh, here's another look at the other reward. Here's reward. Uh, come on. Uh, a little, a little pop figure of the white dragon for six, for reward six, which I believe is the 250 reward. A little collectible pop figure. And also, this one is for nine, and that's the helmet you would get signed by the by uh, Jason A. Frank. And also, here's the, the here's the goal. Uh, the goal they're asking for right now is the pledge goal, which is one hundred thousand dollars for a mini series. But the ex uh, for the extended goal, if they end up getting up to two thousand two hundred fifty thousand, they can do an extended series. Or better yet, if they get up to five thousand, five hundred thousand dollars, they can do a feature film. So guys, if you want this to happen, share it. If you want it to get extended to do a feature film, guys, definitely keep uh, sharing it. Because I honestly like the concept. I like the idea, and um, what I am to understand is that. It is going to include some of the other Ranger cast members, like Jason Font, Ciara Hanna, Johnny Young Bosch, Christy Ani, and Yoshi Sadarso. I mean, I'm hoping those four are still going to be in it because it wouldn't be cool without it, without them. So it's going to be, in, and also Jason and Frank's daughter is supposed to be in it too, uh, Jenna. But I don't know. I mean, I'm. I'm I'm excited. This is amazing. I'm glad they actually decided to bring this back. Uh, James, let me go to you on this, man. What do you think? I mean, I'm glad that he's doing it and people are giving money for this and it comes out more power to him. It's just I've never been a big fan of these uh, Power Rangers, you know, crowdfunded fan films, you know, because nine times out of ten they don't happen. Not dissing any of the actors. It's just the nature of the piece with stuff like this, you know. So I don't really know I get my name in the hat here because Normally, when I hear about this stuff, it's in one ear, out the other, until I see an actual physical product made. So, okay. to be continued, uh, let's just say that's my response. Okay. Uh, Rick, what do you think, man? Hopefully, they can do it this time. I mean, it would be nice to uh, see it, but I mean, regardless which version we get, we're always going to wonder what would the other ones have looked like. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Uh, before I go to Amanda uh, on this question, uh, this person, uh, Geoscap, by the way, uh, on the other project was called Black Unicorn, uh, Taz something, Kanan, Black Unicorn, mm -hmm. where he plays like a mercenary. That was another serious thing he was going to do, but it just didn't get off the ground. They, you know, I guess they just couldn't end up doing it. It was another Jason A. Frank project, so. But uh, Amanda, go ahead. What would you like to say about this? I think this would be good for like a series, but not a movie feature film. So I'll be surprised if they can get the money to make it a film. But in my opinion, this would be good for just a series. Okay. Um, Derek, what about you, man? I would definitely check it out if it gets released. I hope it does reach its funding goal. Yeah, and, and it, it what really shocked me, man. I mean, this this was like last last year they were trying to get this funded, and they only had a limited amount of time to do it, and they were asking for five five hundred thousand, and that didn't really work out in their favor. But you know, I'm glad that you know fans spoke up and said, "Hey, uh, when are you going to be doing this? When are you going to be doing it? When are you going to be doing the Legend of the White Dragon?" Guys, I want to see this happen because not just because of Jason A. Frank, because it is it looks interesting. It looks like an interesting project. It looks like an interesting take because it kind of it does have that Power Rangers feel to it, but it's not Power Rangers. Just to let you guys know that. But with so, that, you know, don't keep your hopes up because I was once part of a uh, a uh, fan version of a Power Ranger thing, and that only happened for the pilot. That's about as far as it got. Yeah, I mean, some people, you know, I mean, I'm hoping this this goes somewhere. But guys, like I said, go to go to LR. Uh, 
Go to Bat in the Sun. Share this on your social media, through your Twitter, through your Instagram, anything, guys. If you want to see this get made, share it around or donate as much as you can. I know these times are tough um, with the quarantine and everything, but sharing is caring. There you go. Uh, I maybe it doesn't work in this. Really, not in this time. Not in this time. Yeah. Until until June first, hopefully. Sharing electronic leaks is caring. Yeah. Anything else really? right now? No. Electronic donations are is caring. Anything electronic, no contact with anybody until June first is okay. So anyway, we're going to move on to the next topic. Uh, if you guys heard of Star Child uh, Props, they're uh, mainly located in Italy. I know you guys probably are not going to be able to get a lot of your they do cosplaying props and everything. Uh, you know replicas. Um, Italy, I'm hoping they're doing it. So I'm hoping just... I'm hoping they're doing okay and you know they're staying healthy and everybody. I know it's really tough there right now, so I'm, my prayers go out to them. Um, let me show you. They had they showed a little bit of a, originally they were going to announce uh, this upcoming helmet that they were going to do, but since you know they couldn't do it for this convention, there's a look at uh, the Green Ranger Shredder helmet that they were thinking about working on. Oh, yeah, a little exactly. 3D three D uh, design. And you can't have the Shredder helmet without the Chicken. Turtles. And there goes James. We heard Chicken, so he found his, he got his chick. He's like, Chicken! Actually, during this whole thing, I've been doing a thing called Go Puff app, and it delivers essentials to your house, and I like it. Yeah, so there you go. There's that for Raphael. And then we've got Leonardo, the Blue Ranger, for the comic. Michelangelo, the yellow ranger for the comic. Yeah, and and yeah, orange. Yeah. Dinotello, Donatello, Donatello, the black because ranger. Because he can't get purple. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, these are the helmet designs that they're going to go for for the whole. So, I mean, I hope we see an actual. Uh... Why don't you have Kim... Why don't you have April or Camille's helmet on there? Because it's basically the same design as the other one. These guys have bigger heads. <laughs> but yeah, April O'Neil actually becomes Pink Ranger, so yeah. So what I've shown, uh, let me go to a yellow uh, jumpsuit out for pink. So let's go for James. James, what do you think of the look at the three D designs of the helmets that they uh, that Star uh, Child Props was considered doing, or considered doing? Uh, I've seen the photos already online, so you don't got to repeat them for me. I mean, they look cool. I mean, they're Ninja Turtle versions of the MMPR. It's like the 90s kid in me is saying, once this whole quarantine and hopefully Italy gets better soon because of everything going on there, I hope these get released because I might be tempted to get one because it's Ninja Turtles meets Mighty Morphin Power Rangers got people. <laughs> I mean, they're Turtle Rangers, so there you go. That's what I mean. uh, the, the Red Ranger Raphael one is like dad is calling to me so hard right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rick, what do you think, man? I think this is cool, but I do, and this is me, I understand a lot of Turtle fans don't like it, but I wish they had gone with some of the concept from the next mutation and had included Venus yeah. solely so that all five of the Rangers could have been turtles but you know, because i mean right now you had april o'neill sitting up his pink what's casey supposed to do you know just casey's the white ranger like, yeah. you know well he can't did. be a white ranger because tommy's still green and shredder took the coin but i'm saying if they do a sequel what they're gonna have it be the white ranger just so they can get casey with the White Ranger helmet, hockey mask. I guarantee that's that's the game plan. That'd be really cool. Uh, man, Amanda, or what do you maybe think? maybe Casey will get the Green Ranger coin in the end and end up suiting up. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, well, she don't really care about the, the props and stuff, I guess. All right. uh, well, oh my God, were you even paying attention? No, I was paying attention. You said Ninja Turtle stuff. This stuff. The, the, for the, you know, comics. Yeah, 
No, uh, no, no. Ninja Turtle hater. Anyway, uh, what about you, Derek? I don't know what the hell we got, we're talking about. I had to go take care of something. Uh, these are the um, helmets that uh, Star Child, uh, in collaboration with Boom Studios, is working on for um, for like actual cosplayers and everything. Oh, neat. So yeah, so, Ninja, so Turtle Rangers from the Ninja Turtles. There you go. So what do you think? Not bad. I kind of dig the, the design on those in itself. It's not time. Stop. Oh, what about this one? Hold on, I never showed you this one. You also have the Green Rangers, uh, Green Ranger Shredder. All right, that one's kind of badass. Yeah, it kind of is, yeah. So yeah, but guys, you know, um, hopefully uh, once this um, it's all over, they can make these and you know they can start shipping them out. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Interesting to see Power uh, Ninja Turtles become Power Rangers. That would have been really kind of funny if they did that in the space episode. But I wouldn't, I guess. But anyway. So, there you have it for that one. But now we are going to, we are now on to Rick's topic, which is Rick's boom time. If I can skip through this. Hold on, let me find my phone. All right, it's Rick's boom time. Jeff, give me a 10 minute warning on these. It's been 10 minutes. Not We're actually keeping track. I said a oh, ten minute warning on the topic coming up. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Hold on. Oh, you sent it back in on the twenty fourth. Okay. All right. I had to scroll okay. back because you can't just stop messaging. All right. Got the covers. Ranger Slayer issue number one of one. As of right now, it's a one shot. Uh, the foil cover. Hell yeah. I'm definitely going to end up getting that one. Um, although you do have a spoiler vert. Uh, Variant, which is apparently going to spoil part of the comic. So they're going to ship it in an actual bag. Um, that way you actually have to pull it, rip it open, pull it out in order to see instead of it just sitting on the shelf. Um, so that's going to be nice. And then, uh, you got Mighty Morphin issue 52, which, based on the foil variant cover, I'm kind of wondering if that is a spoiler returning. Um, because, yeah. But... I'm definitely going to still end up getting the foil variant, even if he's not in the comic. Because, I mean, look at it. Yeah. Ready. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just go through the variants right here. Yep. So the main cover here. Yeah, that should be the main cover. So you can see how Kimberly's just pissed. Oh, no. She's crying a little as well, so yeah. That could be two reasons. Uh, Lord Draken still being alive and her remembering what he did to Tommy. Or... Wait, are you Jason Yeah. Or could if you look at Tommy's face, what if it's Tommy to defeat whatever villain they gotta fight? He's like, I need to get the, the black dragon powers. Yeah. Well, who knows? So anyway, the next variant, this is the one that uh Rick you were talking about. 
the foil variant, mm -hmm. like the others, it has a ranger holding his helmet. Uh, this one just happens to be Lord Draken. And if you see in the visor, it does show the black dragon itself. For most of them, we're showing their zords. Actually, yeah, all of them showed their zords. So, yeah. And the uh, trading card variant with Rita Repulsa. So, yeah. And this is probably the variant they were talking about. No. Okay. Well, maybe a little. Because, th no, this is the main cover. Yeah, this is the main cover. You have Trini, Zack, and the coin list because uh, Ranger Slayer returns to her world um, now that she's free of Draken's control. So it's the first time she's been there and not been trying to destroy the place. And she comes across uh, that world's version of Scorpina. It was the one of the enemies for the issue, or the enemy. So yeah, they actually have Scorpina's new artwork there. Oh yeah, well I'll back, go back to that for a little bit. Yeah, but right in the corner, right there. Yep. Okay. Looks like and she found herself thing. a jacket finally. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then of course the foil artwork. So, her holding her helmet with the grave sword in the uh, visor. So, yeah. it just looks amazing. I'm going to point out something very quick. If you look at her holster right there, you go to there, the blade blaster in holster mode is red. Yeah. I'm trying to think if they got a good shot of it in the other one. Let's see. Hold up. Come back up. Come on. Finish zooming out. There we now go. You can go back. Yeah, and it looks like right there, if you look at it, that has a little bit of a grayish black to it. Yeah. Maybe so, they'll yeah. fix it before release. But regardless, you know. Yeah. It's still awesome. So uh, Rick, what would you like to say uh, before we move on to uh, Amanda's topic? Remember, support uh, your local comic book shops. Pick up single issues. Uh, I understand right now with this whole HMI quarantine thing going on, uh, a lot of comic book shops and small businesses were forced to close. Um, so when they reopen, definitely go in and support them because they are going to need all the support that they can get in order to make sure they can stay open and serving the public for many more years to come. This is a trying time for them. Support small businesses. Support your local comic book shop. Please, don't right. let the comic book industry die. So guys, is there anything you want to say to Rick about his uh, topic, of what he was talking about and everything? Uh, James, would you like to say something very quick? While you're enjoying your chicken? Oh, what was that? Would you like to say something uh, in regards of uh, Rick's topic for his boom time and all the comics that we just uh, showed? Uh, yeah. Uh, I like what we're seeing coming. Uh, I kind of like the idea that I have is that she's mad at Tommy because to, to defeat whatever they got to defeat in that next arc or current arc, he's going to be like, guys, I'm going to have to get the dragon powers, the large dragon powers and the black dragon to give us the power boost. And she'll probably like, no, you'll turn evil just like him. I think that'd be a kind of cool way of bringing back dragon, but have it being a Tommy power up, you know? Right. Okay, uh, um, and as so for the... Good. What? Sorry, go Turn Lord Draken good. Yeah, like I can see, it's me as Power Rangers, so, you know, it could happen. Uh, and as for the... Ranger Slayer mini one shot. 
yeah, it looks cool. I'll read. It's an evil Trini. I mean, an a anti-hero evil Kimberly. That's well, no longer cool. evil. But you know what I mean, though. She's she's the anti-hero. She's the bad version. You know what I mean? Well, she's not in the position Tommy would have been in a real world situation after being freed from Rita's spell. And so uh, Amanda, just automatically accepted. Amanda, what about you? What do you think? Um I'm just surprised that they actually postponed all of the physical comics until further notice. Um, but hopefully they'll get back to normal, hopefully by May, if people would love to follow the rules, that sort of thing. But that's all I have to say. Yeah, give the comic the, the comic book, as a guy who collects comics, is a big comic fan. I do a Spider-Man slash Marvel podcast on and off with my buddy Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Support them, please, because they need it. Because Marvel and DC, like when this first started, they immediately went like, we're not going to conventions, but then, and then when it just kept on getting worse, they were like, okay, we're not doing physical, we're doing digital. So your comic books, so the Marvel and DC are going to survive, because all they got to do is put a new Batman movie or Avengers movie or Spider-Man movie on, up after this, and then boom, there's billions of dollars in the Marvel and DC. It's oh, the small time it, companies plus the comic shops that are going to be like needing your help, people. So please, do the best you can to support them. They need our love. Uh, all they need is love. Uh, okay, Derek, what about you, man? What do you think? Oh, I wish I still had time and money to read comics because some of these storylines look really, really cool. Right, yeah. I mean, I agree with you guys. Uh, I mean, I'm so behind. I mean, because I'm trying. I mean, I just haven't been really having the time to sit down and read because of work. But, hey, maybe right now I can do it. So <laughs> I might as well start. So anyway, we're going to move on to Amanda's topic. Uh, Amanda's, nope, not that. There we go. Amanda's PR quote of the day. And Amanda, take it away. And Amanda, take it away. Sorry, it's just so much social distancing that I, ca I can't pay attention that much. Okay. Good. But this is another long one that I've done. Probably the biggest one I've done was probably in Mystic Force, but I'll get to that later. Um, but when you're trying to make a quote, especially a inspirational quote that has a big like a uh, impact, you have to make sure it doesn't take up most most of the image. And that's what happened in this one. Almost happened in this one. I mean, this is the episode uh, where Ravi actually reveals to his mother that he is actually the artist who painted the mural after lying to her. And this is towards the end of the episode where after they defeated the uh, the locksmith who turned out to be a French painter, um, he was like, uh, the, she she was upset that Robbie lied to him and said, the lies are bad enough, but what's even worse is that my attitude kept you from being true to yourself. And then maybe a few lines after, then she said this next one. So from now on, I promise to support whatever makes you happy. And this one's actually a little bit personal because the reason I can pick the of the day is because as a Power Ranger fan, not a lot of people that I knew were on board with me still being a Power Ranger fan. So this one was a little bit personal for me. So, um, What do you mean, Geo Scout? Never okay, uh, let's just, let's just leave that out right now, Geo Scout. Let's just talk about the topic ahead. All right, then. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, because, like I said, not some people didn't approve of me still being a Power Ranger fan. They thought I needed to grow up. But now that we're in the era where you can be whatever you want, I mean, we can still, adults can still go to Disney World and not get judged at. And people have been doing conventions since the 1950s. I mean, come on. There's no need to judge people for what they like. And uh, the only thing that you can do for them is just be happy for them. Because if it's if it was my kid, if I ever have kids, which I don't think I will, I have a nephew that's probably good enough for me until they have my brother has more kids um i would be happy 
well, whatever they want to do, whatever makes them happy is happy, makes them happy. Power Rangers makes me happy. And my mom knows that. So she, she knows how much it makes me happy. So she respects um, what I love. And everybody should do that. Everyone needs to respect everyone's favorite interests. Everyone needs to respect uh, people's feelings. Everybody needs to give some goddamn respect. And that's why I chose this PR pro of the day. And there you go. All right. That's really good, Amanda. All right. So uh, before I go on to the next topic, guys, what do you think of uh, Amanda's uh, quote and everything? I'm going to go to James very quick. Uh, awesome. I mean, like, yeah, because I think we all went for school where, like, somebody found out you like Power Rangers or whatever and they gave you shit for it. Granted, I just gave them shit back because that was the kind of personality I had. It was like, fuck you. Well, you fuck me, fuck you kind of thing. But, uh, and luckily, I'm, we're to the point where we are in geek culture where people at work know I like Power Rangers. And either A, they like it too, even if it's just nostalgia, M and PR. Or they're like, okay, awesome. I like Avengers. You like Power Rangers? Badass. Let's talk about superheroes. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Uh, what about uh, you, Rick? What did you think of Amanda's uh, PR quote? I mean, you know, secrets do hurt. I didn't hear that last like part. He said secrets do hurt. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good one. Yeah. Uh, Derek, what about you, man? I agree with the point of show some goddamn respect. There you go. And I agree with Amanda. Uh, guys, whatever you're into, whether it's like My Little Pony or Power Rangers, I mean, I'm, I mean, you may not be into it. Um, you know, it's just much to show respect. I mean, you know, you don't have to like it, but don't judge people on what they're into. Because, you know, why does that make you any better than anybody else? Let's just put it that way. So, um, it just makes you thanks And uh, so why now we are. Like, why would I have to judge someone who drinks paint? And then I'd be asking a lot of questions why you're drinking paint. But anyway. I'm not uh, drinking paint. I'm just watching. Yeah, all that, I would just somebody who drinks paint because there's just Dude. so many messed up things about that. Yeah, we're not going to get into this topic at all. So anyway, we're going to move on to the next topic which is our uh, topic uh, for Power Rangers Beast More for Season 2 Episode Race. And uh, we are going to be um, talking about Episode 5. Clark Kent, Jay, what the? <laughs> Team by... Is that you? Jay? I know who that is. <laughs> I know who that is, too. Okay. By himself with that. Jesus Christ. Um, so anyway, um, this episode um, that we're going to be Talking, uh, reviewing, I, and uh, talking about. I just said that is the name because of the picture. Uh, is um called it's episode five and it's called cruising, cruising for a bruising, cruising or cruising for a bruising. Um, before I go on, guys, I wanted to uh, give a shout, uh, give a little shout out and a little right back, guys. um praise to um James. He came up with the title for this episode. For episode 128, Cruise Control, uh, Nathan for TL. What the? I, Nate needs something positive, so I put on him as host. Like Nate for host, that he's already host of. So congratulations, Nate. I'm giving you credit for something you you're already doing. For host, not LR. What is LP? Well, I screwed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you got the episode title good, uh, but um. So, yeah, uh, James, thanks for this. And I'm going to be asking a lot of my uh, co-hosts if they can come up, because uh, we do not have a title for next Sunday's episode. Yet, but we will come up with an episode title. I'll be working on the event later on the night and then try to have it out tomorrow. So, anyway, we're going to be discussing this episode, which uh, revolves around um, uh, Cruz's character and actually unveils the Rangers getting their new power-up. Now, before I go on, uh, Jamie, Rick, Amanda, you've seen this episode, correct? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to just say Amanda probably seen because she's probably not here right now. So, Anyway, I'm going to go on. I'm going to go first. My old spiel on it. Um, I like how uh, they do uh, give Cruz a chance 
to actually join the team of the Rangers and, you know, be kind of an honorary sixth Ranger, I guess. And it's cool because he got, uh, he gets this, uh, these blasters. Uh, I think in the show they call them the wheel blasters. I got to go watch the episode again. But um, basically, yeah, I'm bring my little cruise figure right here. Except he didn't have this kind of blaster, which we went off when he has like a wheel blaster, two wheel blasters. And um, in this episode, because um, cause during their target practicing, uh, Cruz shows off how well he is good at aiming and shooting with his skills. So I thought that was really cool how they did that. Um, this episode involves a character. Um, he gets absorbed by this uh, Robotron known as Digitron. Oh, geez. And, um, yeah, and then this involves, you know, because Devin feels bad because he thought that, you know, he shouldn't have uh, pushed Cruz when he didn't, when he didn't, when Nate said he should have had combat training. So, you know, I like the episode. I like the whole thing. It was awesome. It was really great. And I like the debut uh, of the uh, Beast X mode. Now, before I move on to anybody else's, uh, you know, spiel before I did my rate, I wanted to show off the, uh, the, uh, um, the Morphex key that came with the uh, Beast Box. These came out uh, last year for the first season, and they included them for this season of Power Rangers. I do not have a Jackson's uh, Morphex key because... They got lost in tran in transition in transaction, so hopefully I will find uh, Jax at one point and get that key. But they represent their B spots, and during this episode, they turn their uh, B spots into data where they absorb into the keys, and they use a other type of morphin um, transformation device called the Beast X Mode Visor, but they call it the Beast X. They also call it the Beast X Visor when they transport it. And what it does is it connects to their B-Sex morphers. Now, this is uh, the sound that it makes in this morpher. I'll just do one. So this makes this sound like this. We'll press, hold on. It's hard to position these, kind of. There we go. Auto mode activated. And then, you know. Are you ready? Hey, it's morphin' time. Activate B-Sex mode. No matter what you say in this. So, so it includes that um, for it, and uh, they use this key to put into the uh, Morph X, uh, the Beast X visor to transform into the Beast X mode. Um, now, they planned out ahead of time, they could have sold it as just an additional attachment, but there's no place to actually attach it on the Morpher. Unless if they found a way to actually mold it, but well, what they're going to have to do is probably like I believe the Japanese they actually have to set their regular morpher into a special holster for it. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, but instead of us getting the uh, B Tech visor at this point, uh, we got the lion, the uh, B Tech King morpher, which let me. Put this on. Does it make sense to give us a toy for something that we're not going to get until after the, um, you know, hiatus? No, actually, we and are going to be giving us a toy for something that's actually. I thought we were going to get an. I thought we were going to get an episode before the hiatus, but then they changed it, and now I'm pissed off. No, the they're actually going to be. A, we are going to be getting uh, the the debut of the Beast X King War for just. In a different look than the toy. Uh, with that, that's going to be episode seven, which is called Beast King Rampage. I think it's that's called. Not, that's not the one I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, but this one, a little bit different. You can still put any Morphex key in there. Instead of them, you know, this is what this does. I reviewed this on uh, Facebook, so. So that says activate Wait. B-Sex. Oh. 
That's the so one. yeah. But anyway, uh, hopefully Hasbro does release the Beast X visor, and I'd have to get this episode of ten because um, now they're actually uh, able to combine with their Beast spots and fight during the uh, episode, and so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me go to James. James, I gave it a ten by the way, just let you know. James, take it, take over. Uh, yeah, I, I like the episode. Uh, I like the footage, the fight scenes with the with the monster of the week with the power up. I, I thought it was really beautiful. Like the little the Go Buster footage is always great, but also the the American stuff with uh, with uh Cruz and his own gimmick that's from the toy line. I like that when Power Ranger does that stuff of him shooting the, the wheel blasters. I, I like that stuff. Uh, I like the story. I like the moral. I like it how the B spots are like, oh, you can join us in the fight now. And one of my big complaints about season one of Beast Morphers was the fact that unlike Ingo Busters, the Beast Bots are more kind of like, they're in the background and they'll have one line and then the Zords, they'll, they'll, they'll appear in the Zord stuff, don't worry about it. Where in Go Buster, they were kind of like the parents of the Rangers, that when they're real parents, you know, what happened to them, happened to them, no spoilers to Go Busters. They were parents, but they were there for them. They were basically a support figure. Well, they were kind of like the ones that raised them in Go Busters, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, on like right, he had his sister, but, uh, uh, but yeah, but, so I I kind of wish that the B spots in season one would have had a little bit more to do. So I kind of like this; it's going to give them a little bit more to do. Hopefully, as the season goes on, uh, and Ben and Betty is just the weak part for me again. It's like it's just like filler where it's like I I'm just skipping past their stuff. It's like I know if they're in a scene, I just fast forward on the DVR until I get to them off screen, and it's nothing against the actors. It's just. There's only so much I can see every week. So people get hit in the face with pie or exploding something in them or fart jokes or something like that before it gets like, okay, moving on. What, what else you got? So besides all, with all that said and done, I think I would give the episode an eight. All right. Uh, Rick, what about you, man? I mean, it was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. So, I mean, Cruz getting the wheel blasters. I wouldn't actually mind Hasbro releasing an actual Will Blaster or two, like a set, so that, you know, people can play with them. They'll probably be nerf related, but, you know. Why not? I mean, the design of them actually would make a really nice nerf gun because you fire and you got a shield. So. I mean, I'm gonna have to give this a uh, nine. All right. Now, Amanda, what about you? Um, I saw this episode and it was pretty cool. Um, I think one of my favorite parts at the end was uh, the robot cleaning the confetti. And it's like, why is the thing staring at us? And it's like, guys, we all have confetti on. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> It was funny and not that are they gonna leave the episode like this? Like the robot just coming towards them and then nope, it got destroyed. <laughs> um, but I do like the new mode. It is it is really cool. Um so I give this episode a uh I'm trying to think. Probably a seven and uh yeah. Hopefully they'll hear the episode I'm talking about, but I won't say which one, but I'm pissed off. Yeah. Um, so yeah, well, there you go, guys. There's, uh, there's our uh, Ranger uh, uh, episode rates and everything. Um, uh, Derek has yet to see any of the rest of the season of first season of Peace War first or second. So he's, <laughs> he's got time. I've got time. I don't have access. I don't know where the hell to find them other than uh, nope, some may, shady websites. Yeah, I mean, that website I sent you for uh, Dino Charge and Ninja Steel has Beast Morphers as well. Uh, I think I've got that bookmarked. I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, well, it's, probably, it's probably the last thing I sent you on Messenger. Well, you've got till April 30th to catch up. So, anyway, um, yeah. I mean, I like... So, anyway, now on to the big announcement that I said on the War guys, Okay. So, we've been on for almost seven years, starting in August and September. 
And I thought to myself, what better way to start, you know, expanding LR4 by going to two other social media media platforms? Guys, I just thought of this Tinder. today. No, we are not doing that. Guys, I decided that LR4 will be having its own Twitter and Instagram page. So here's the plan. I'm going to try to work on... So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to be in charge with LR4 and everything, and even the Twitter page, but I'm going to give one of my co-hosts and admins the job of one of those pages. So I'll be discussing with them. They'll be in, they'll be able they will have to you know be able to tweet on there and that will be their job to do all that and then post pictures on Instagram. I'll give one person the Twitter account and what I'll do is I will make up the password and um, I'll just have to use the Gmail that I have. So guys, we will be heading to Twitter and Instagram. This will be a trial run and see how that turns out. Because I have a personal uh, Twitter as well, and I also have a Instagram. And I wanted to actually do this thing where we would actually have something for LR4. I mean, I've been thinking about this for quite a while, but it just never came to my attention. Because it's just that, you know, with paying attention to the Facebook page and then pay attention to the webcast and all that stuff, it's a lot to do. So I want to give a chance for some of my administrators to help out with that. And then maybe we will expand a little bit further. Maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll do a Patreon. Who knows? Because, guys, it would be Patriarch? awesome. Patreon? Uh, Patreon. I don't uh, know what that is. Uh, uh, the net, I think James is right. The next site that we should expand to afterwards is Tender. Yeah. Actually, so I, that, I like the guys, whole idea of us now, doing a let Patreon. Let me ask my co host. That would actually kind of help you know with anything about, Did you know anything about this? <laughs> anybody? James, no. did you know anything about this? About what? Exactly. Did you know anything about this big announcement? Just that you just told right. me right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I mean, like, if you want, I can do the Twitter. Because Instagram, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really like good at Instagramming, but I can I'm do Twitter for you. All right, so guys, here we go. So, guys, meet uh, our Instagrammer for LR4, James. You'll be. Uh, no, wait, I said, sorry. I said Twitter. <laughs> I saw yeah. Instagram. I, I wanted to switch Instagram. it around, okay? You're good at photos. He's good at Twitter. Switching that shit around, okay? No. Here, okay. Let me do this again. God, I got really Do you want me to be uh, sarcastic like other, you know, like official Twitter accounts? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, James will be doing the Twitter, and he will definitely be sharing a lot of the posts from other Twitters and everything, and also posting... You know, sharing all that stuff. He'll be in charge of the Twitter. I will still be. I will still be in charge of it, but I will make sure he can handle all that. So he will be handling the Twitter. So I'm the assistant to the assistant regional manager. Basically, you're like an assistant manager for that. Amanda will be in charge of the Instagram. The assistant manager of Instagram. So there you go. She's going to be handling the Instagram page. And so Nick doesn't do know it. I'm, I'm starting that Twitter app. account right now. now. I got access to his Facebook photos. To, you do? Uh, Give me some. Forward. So, guys, once I get all that worked out, I'm going to be starting to shift it to that. So, guys, definitely check out our uh, uh, Twitter. That will be coming up and our Instagram. And um, um, and what we'll do is uh, Amanda will post some pictures. She can even post her – she'll even post her, you know, PR quote of the day. She can move them from there and all that I'm stuff. I'm going to post all of them. So there you go, guys. If you guys want to check that out, definitely. I mean, we'll definitely uh, do all that, and we'll 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 get. Um, we're, I mean, you know, I want to expand LR four. I want to make it to where people can actually know where to find us and everything. And you know, we'll be at PMC in September, though. You can find us there. So yeah, there you go, guys. Twitter and Instagram. Here comes LR four Legend Rangers Forever. So. I thought, I mean, hopefully this works out and, you know, and hope you guys do follow our page, uh, follow the pages there. Hope you are liking our Facebook page. Hope you are subscribed to our YouTube page. Guys, 
we are going to be continuing more and more because we want to, uh, you know, spread this, spread uh, LR4, Power Rangers, Power Rangers and everything. And I know that's not the right thing to say right now, but. Uh, I thought a permanent marker. Uh, Derek, what do you think of this? What is your opinion on this? Sounds good to me, especially since other people are going to take care of it. <laughs> Derek, I made a sacrifice for you. Okay. Oh, uh, you're too kind, James. Derek, we'll find something for you. Derek has so the ginger. So Wait, hey, I got a, I got a good one for him for PMC this year. Nate, people he buys the tap. Call it Desperado or Derek. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, superstar! But yeah, guys. So, um, we'll, we'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discuss it more in the live chat with these guys about it. So, guys. Um, I will definitely um, post the Twitter page once we get it off the ground. Um, hopefully, I can start working on it tonight. Or... So, yeah, I will definitely talk with uh... – oh, she's really bouncy today, isn't she? I haven't had caffeine in two days. I need caffeine. I'm going nuts. So, anyway, um, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Um, we're still working on uh, the title for episode 129. We will have a webcast next Sunday. I just still need to make sure you guys are tuning in to Beast Morphers Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Nickelodeon. Um, there will be a new episode that day, so guys, don't miss out on that. Um, I, got a title. I got a title. All right, just uh, put it in the group chat, and I'll look at it, right? Mm. So anyway, uh, James, what would you like to say, man, before we sign off? Uh, just again, everybody, this is a difficult time with everything going on. Uh, so stay safe, stay healthy, you know, be badass, be awesome, be cool, you know, love each other, but not in that kind of physical way right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so everybody have fun. You know, I like hanging out with these guys. It's nice to socially interact with some people over social distancing. And, uh, if anybody has Animal Crossing... I like to plug that you can visit my town, Taco Cat, whenever you want. It's Taco I'm Cat. Gates it open. Happen. I should have gone then. Okay. I don't uh, have it either. Rick, go ahead, man. What would you like to say? I mean, you know, it would be uh, nice to support the, uh, small businesses. <laughs> never throwing me. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, social distancing kind of is protecting him right now. <laughs> Unless we want another booty boom. Uh, that'll be coming in about 10 months. Nine, okay. 10. Surprisingly, I just I found out my mother is actually a baby boomer. Well, no. Anyway, but, is that anything else, Rick? Uh, I mean, support small businesses, uh, especially w once we, uh, you know, get over this whole quarantine thing. And Still tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. But, uh, That's only if you own a bar business. Um, in, I got Ohio, friends who are bar They're now ordered to be now. closed. Uh, the governor of Ohio actually uh, put out a ban on alcohol sales. So, Derek, stay away from Ohio. Again. Well, what if you go to a grocery store? Uh, um, apparently, based on the way it's worded, it sounds like they can't even sell it. Yeah, that's not going to fly in Wisconsin. Amanda? Right now. No, there's a lot <laughs> of people that won't fly. What would you like to say? Uh, I just wanted to say that we may be looking at another month of social distancing. So do whatever you can do in your house. I know Rhode Island said be in our houses until uh, April 13th. Um, but it'll be towards but everywhere in this country probably April 30th if people follow the rules. So do stuff in your house. Do stuff in your house. Play some games. Play Animal Crossing. I don't have that, so I'm bummed. Um, and since uh, this, is all, this is all happening, I'm skipping my birthday because next year's a pretty big one anyway. So I really don't care. Okay, uh, okay uh, Derek. Uh, I am officially out of alcohol, so if anybody outside of Ohio wants to pay me a visit with some booze, that'd be super cool. Uh, otherwise, uh, stay I the would, fuck Eric, but I, I, I'm already going to drink it all. Sorry. <laughs> actually, some people from New York with New York license plates actually was found here in Rhode Island, and, and the National Guard and the police found them. Yeah, th I've been avoiding that because 
I saw a video. No, I didn't understand. Is that all, Derek? Um, I don't need to leave the state. But topic for a whole nother day. <laughs> I just need to uh, put on a mask and run to the store to get some booze. I just don't I need feel like Pepsi. it. I need Pepsi. I'm gonna probably gonna gonna go on go. Okay, public. now I'm kind of worried when you said put on a mask and go get alcohol. <laughs> put on I'm a hoping you mean like mask. medical mask. Hurt. It's gonna not, happen after all. Not a freaking thing like this. Give me your alcohol. You know, I'm not. Give me I'm your not. Pepsi can. I can't make decisions when I'm sober. I don't. I mean, I can't deal with this. I need Pepsi. Damn now. straight. All right. I need caffeine. If people think I'm crazy, but hey. Helmets will save lives. Right, go to the, to the outro. If you take that to a grocery store and put it on, that is protection. All right. All right. Like I said, guys, thank you for watching LR4 episode 128, uh, Cruise Control. Guys, we will be back with another new episode next Sunday. Um, I'm gathering as much, uh, you know, topics to talk about as we speak. Um, it might be a short episode, but who knows? We'll have to figure it out. Um, and I still need a title, so Amanda said she has one. So hopefully um, I can start working on that tonight. Guys, keep an eye out for our Twitter and Instagram. I'm looking forward to uh, making that and having James and Amanda run it. So, uh, guys, um, you know, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, stay more phenomenal. And as Zordon always says, may the power protect you. And remember, it's morphin' time. Activate beast power. Huh. Unleash the beast. I messed it up. Okay. All right. Say bye, everybody. I thought the fire. Do your fire singing. Hot, hot, hot. Those two were just laying together for a long time. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you next Sunday. <laughs>